over 18 and we are told lines y plus 2x is equals to 4 and 3x minus y is equals to 1 intersect at t. Find the equation of the line 1 which passes through t and uh, 3, min 3 minus 2 you get 5 marks. So this question you are supposed to, if you are covered uh, gradients, equations of straight lines, gradients and equation of straight lines in form 2, you should be able to do this question comfortably. Uh, so the first thing that we do is if th these two lines intersect at t, then it means the value of y at t for both lines and x are the same. So we can write our first equation y is equals to x. We take 2x to the other side, so we have a minus 2x uh, plus 4. The other one we can take y to the other side, so we have y uh, is equals to 1 comes across uh, the equal sign, it is 3x minus 1. So we can now equate uh, this side and this side, that is uh, y, uh, which you have minus 2x uh, plus 4 is equals to 3x because they share a point. So when you put them like that, you can take uh, 2 to 2 minus 2x to the to the across the equal sign becomes positive. So we have 5x. 1 you take it across the equal sign, you get 5. So it means x is equals to 1. You divide both sides by 5. And if x is 1, you can substitute here and you find y is equals to 3 times 1 is 3 minus 1 is 2. Therefore, the coordinates of t are 1 and 2. Uh, so once you get that, that is going to help you answer the questions. Uh, so find the equation of the line 1, one L1, which passes through t and uh, 3 minus 2. So we already have one point, uh, and the other point is uh, 3 minus 2, and therefore we can be able to get the equation of this line, uh, which you say, first of all we get the gradient, the gradient is equals to, uh, you say it is, uh, this other point here, it is not 2 but minus 2, so we have 2 minus minus 2, that will give you uh, 4, divide by 1 minus 3, that will give you minus 2, you divide, you get minus 2. So once you have the gradient, you can now get the equation of the line, and you say, uh, why we take one point we can take uh, one two so it is y minus two and x minus one so we have taken t is equals to the gradient which is minus two so you can simplify that and say y minus two is equals cross multiply it is minus two x minus one and minus two you give you positive two you take uh, uh, 2 to the other side then we have y is equals to minus 2x 2 becomes positive so they have so that is the equation that uh, we are required to find in this uh, particular uh, part of a uh, from there uh, we go to b a line passes through 5 4 uh, and uh, is parallel to l1 so this is our l1 L1. So if, if the right line passes through 5, 4 and it is parallel to L1, it means uh, L2 gradient is equal to the gradient of L1 we have found it is minus 2 and it passes through the line uh, through the point 5, 4. So with that, we can be able to get the, uh, to get the equation of line 2 by saying uh, we take uh, y minus 4, we take one point and uh, marginally point x minus uh, 5 is equal to minus 2. So you cross multiply, uh, you'll be able to get uh, this is uh, y minus 4 is equal to minus 2x, then this will give us uh, plus 10, uh, that is uh, plus 10 minus 5 times minus 
to minus 4 crosses the equal sign becomes positive. So y is equals to minus 2x, uh, 10 plus 4 will give us 14. So that is how we, fa we get the equation of that line 2 in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. So that's correct. Uh, then another line L3 is perpendicular to L1. What is the gradient of L1? Uh, so this is a C. L1, the gradient is minus 2. It means for L3, uh, gradient is equals to a half. So that when you multiply a half times minus 2, you should get minus 1. Uh, from there, uh, you uh, and uh, this line is perpendicular. Find the equation of the L3 in the form of uh, in the form of ax plus b y minus c uh, so if this line is perpendicular and uh, uh, at t it means it, they share a point which is t uh, which we found it is one two so with the gradient and a point we will be able to get the equation so we say y minus two divided by x minus one is equals to a half uh, which implies that uh, we cross multiply, we get y minus 2 is equals to a half x, and uh, then uh, this is a minus a half, minus a half. Uh, so with that, then we'll be able to get, uh, we have multiplied that. So this becomes, uh, we take 2 to the other side, so we have a uh, y is equals to, 2 becomes positive, uh, so it is a, a half x, and then we have, uh, so 2 becomes po uh, positive, so 2 minus a half, that will give you 1 and a half, which is the same as 3 over 2, multiply throughout by 2, you have 2y is equals to x uh, plus 3, uh, because we are supposed to write our equation in this format, then we take x to the le uh, left hand side and it implies that our equation will be minus x uh, plus 2y is equals to 3, which is in the form of, uh, which is in the form of uh, the form that we have been told here. So that is how we work out that and you get yourself 10 marks.